Kaya, and welcome back to Monster Village. The game that teaches us that... I don't know. Hey, cats, I have zero issues with it. I may overreact to it, but I genuinely have zero issues with it. I genuinely don't have an issue with it. Anyways, let's just hop right in. Woke up a bit earlier than usual. Because I slept the entire day yesterday, I feel a bit too groggy to keep laying down. Yeah, I'll be sure to let you know, but... I'm not uncomfortable with the jokes. Like, I just want to put this out there. I am not uncomfortable when it comes to the jokes. I'm totally fine with them. It's one of those things where... I genuinely do not have an issue with it. That's the last I'm going to say about it, for now. Didn't even realize how hungry I was. The housekeeper already gave me my usual breakfast. But I was also given a new bottle of Wish Jam. Suffice to say, it didn't take long before I already finished half of it. Ugh. I feel full. After I finally have enough energy, I clean up the place so there is more space when Ridge visits again. I didn't notice it before, but yesterday feels a bit cramped if I don't fix the bed. I also found a few subjects we can start drawing with. Including a few monster photos I found in my bag. My uncle gave me these before moving to the city. I guess that's when I first wanted to become a guild member. <laughs> I guess Ridge and I are really alike. It are alike a lot more than I expected. I better pick him up. Now let's see where Ridge is. I look over the field and outside the cabin. But I wasn't able to find Ridge. Is he inside the cabin, maybe? I went over to the door and knocked. Hello? Anyone home? I hear rushing footsteps from behind the door. Eventually, the door opened up to... A sweaty Devil Joe? Uh, uh mm, It's just you, I thought. Am I... Interrupting something? No, I was just doing something. I can help you with that something, baby girl. <clears throat> Did you need anything from me? Um, I was just wondering where Ridge is. He isn't here. He said he wanted to talk to the Elder about some things. Oh, sorry for the bother. I really didn't mean to. Don't worry, son. You're doing okay. Thank you again for helping the kid. He came back yesterday as usual, but looking much better. The kid's childhood was terrible, so the elder and I gotta take care of him, but there are some things only a boyfriend can handle. Thanks. <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You leave soon, right? I should be leaving either tomorrow or the day after that. I want to stay longer, but I have my own responsibilities. Plus... I don't want to rouse suspicion from the guild. With my report, everyone here should be left alone until I do a routine visit again. Good. Remember your duties first so you can make a home for you two. Tell Ridge to spend the remaining days with you. I'll handle the farm. Are you sure? I already told you. He's like a son to me. I think he deserves it after all that happened, and I need to give him more rewards anyway. Thanks. I'll let him know. Good. By the way, Joseph. Hmm? What is it, son? Why are you in your underwear? None of your business! No get going! Joseph then went back in the cabin and immediately closed the door. It was so abrupt that I almost fell on my back. Eh? W what did I do? <laughs> Freaky pickle. Maybe I have better luck here. Let's arrive at the elder's house. Notice the housekeeper sweeping the ground. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong dial. That would have been bad. Asher. He approached with flicking ears and tail wagging. Meow. 
I'm so sorry. I hit the wrong dial. I scratched his ears and gave him a pat on the head. You seem happy, little one. Meowster finally finished all his work. Yeah. His work? Meowster works really hard to feed us felines, but because we have low trading, he had to use more paws to work. I'm so sorry. He finally stopped working, so we can spend time together. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Fuck. You know what? Let me explain. Let me show you what I did. Let me show you what I did. I'm going to have to lift up my laptop to do this. <laughs> Let me show you what I did. Okay, so, uh, yeah. fucking laptop. Hang on. Uh, there's the other laptop. Uh, let me grab the other thing. Uh... Ah! This is the uh, soundboard that I was using. I accidentally hit this thing, this knob right here, when I should have been pushing this dial. I accidentally hit the wrong thing. I'm so sorry. Aw, that's cute, but why are you out here sweeping? Oh! Meowster is too tired, so he is having a feline nap. I want to finish all my work so I too can be with Meowster Nya. That's good. I hope you two enjoy your time together. I gave him another pat while he gives me a wide smile. I guess the two have been so busy together that they barely had any time to do anything at all. I guess he has also been taking care of me with taking care of me so with me gone he can focus on the elder I kind of feel bad now and never mind that i guess ridge is not here if the elder is sleeping where did he run off to you know ridges yeah he just left before you came yeah i think he said something about the head merchant the head merchant huh thanks little one you enjoy your day now oh and tell the elder tomorrow might be my last day so i will see him one last time okay nya Let's just hope he's still there. <laughs> Wonderful. Hope he's here. Hello? Nobody answered. Let me try again. Anyone home? Guess nobody's home. Where am I going to go now? Guess maybe the market then. As I walk to the other side, I think I'm going to hear Ridge's voice inside the house. Another gun, please. I'm going to follow the source of Ridge's voice to the corner. The closer I get, the stronger some whispering gets. But, but what if he knocked again? I felt too embarrassed. Once we reach a window, I think I hear both Ridge and Koku inside. Just the two of us. Come on, dude. I'm itching here. Part of me wants to check in on them, but if they are whispering, I kind of want to know what they are talking about, too. Uh, okay, but only because it's you. Here, touch it. Okay, now I'm more curious than ever. The hell are those two doing? Crouched down, making sure I wasn't seen through the window. I was able to angle myself so that I can still see inside, but more importantly, I can hear them. Oh, they're doing this again. Doing this. <laughs> Fallopian tubes. Careful. It's the only one I have. I will drop it. What is it anyway? After checking out some of my books, I think it's a bug cage. The traders got it for me when they came back from their trip a few days ago. Maybe he'll like it? You think he likes bugs? That's what they've been talking about? This is the rarest thing I have. I think this might be useful for, some, for something else. Something else? I mean, look at this thing. It's wide. It's gauged. It can fit me, maybe? Ah! I don't use my things like that. But if I want to use it as a cage for, you know... Is he even into it? I don't know. If he isn't into it, maybe he can try it on me. Hmm? Stop looking at me like that. Am I, I am going to smack both of them. You're really perverted, huh? Hey, I ain't. I don't mind that, Ridge. I can't really say I'm interested in it much, but to think that you're into that kind of stuff. It makes me feel special that I'm the only one that knows about it. <laughs> Ridge is in a BDSM. Wait, hang on. Is it BDSM? I think it is.
It is. It is. Shit. Damn. Sh shut up. Besides, I heard you've been asking traders for some items recently. Ah, I'm sorry. Hm. Mm. I didn't need to know about Ridge's taste this early, but maybe it's a bad idea to talk to him about sex. I don't want to scare him. And you didn't think about that when you suggested using this on yourself as a cock cage? Or a dildo? Actually, I don't think this would feel nice. If you want, I can ask the traders to get something that might be better. Something thicker? C quiet! Too brutally open. Fuck. Why do you even want to give him a physical gift? Why not just spend time with him? But he's gonna go back, like, tomorrow and... Wait, really? Yeah. You should probably check on him. If you really like him, just do stuff with him. Who knows? Might put you in his place if you push... Might put you in his place if you push him hard enough. How are you related to your dad? I don't know. I just find it cute when someone likes someone. You still want you and that himbo, too? Maybe. I want to go all the way with someone, and I don't want to scare them off like you said. I guess. Himbo? Who was referring to Leo when we went to the waterfall? Koku and Leo? Was there some history between the two? I didn't expect it from them. Thanks, Goku. I, I guess I really needed that. It's fine. You're fun. I like speaking my mind around you. <laughs> you speak your mind, all right. And I'm sorry for about your dad the other day. It's okay. I don't talk with him about it. He just worries about me a lot. I know he means well, and he wants to look out for me, but he needs to stop seeing you like your parents. So if you can talk to him today, the chief needed some help with the waterfall earlier. My parents, huh? That look. I guess you told Asher about your past. Yeah. How'd he take it? That was weird for nothing, I think. I told you! When you told me about your past, I felt relieved because it felt nice to be trusted. You do feel like an older brother to me. Aw, Ridgie! Don't call me that. Sorry, Ridge. I think I have a new pet name for you. Asher, what are you doing there? Fuck! Dad? Ah! Asher? What the? <laughs> Gar immediately grabbed my arm, pulling me away from the window. He was rather forceful with the way he gripped me, but then again, I was snooping around his son. When he got to the front of his home, he let go of me and gave a disappointed look. Explain yourself, kid. S sorry, I was looking for Ridge earlier, and I heard him inside, and... Ridge? He's inside, damn it! Wait, Garu! Son, get out here! Now! I... Fuck. I immediately went in and followed Garu. After Garu, what Ridge told me yesterday, I need to stay... Stay to tell them... Stay with them to mediate. Son, what did we just talk about? Dad, this is getting out of hand. I know you just wanted to protect me and all, but... No exceptions! You know well what happened years ago. What me and your mother had to sacrifice. Just because he lives here, he still acts like his parents. Cursing around, everyone hasn't even been helping much with the village. We need to survive. I've been juggling everything in this village just to keep us fed, and I will not let that stop me from letting anyone taint my son's innocence. Ugh. Dad, he isn't... This is getting out of hand way too fast. I need to do something here. Defend Ridge's actions, look at Koku for help, or reason with Garu. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and I'm going to throw something away real quick. It's goddamn this one's getting messy. Here's the fucky part. Here's the fucky part. Garu is still being a good fucking parent. He is still being a good parent. That's the fucky part. He's being a... Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Yeah, he's being overprotective, and obviously that can be toxic. However, I'm looking at it from his point of view. Now, if we look at it from Koku's point of view, he's being toxic. Yeah, he's not literally letting his son have friends. However, like I said, I'm looking at it from his point of view. Now, if we were to look at it from literally any other point of view, or even objectively... Then yeah, he's being a piece of shit. 
but I'm just trying to look at it from his point of view. He's not even... Yeah. Sorry, Garu. God damn it, wrong one. Wrong one! Sorry, Garu. We gotta take one of your names off the list. We're still gonna keep you on the good dad list, but... You got two names taken off. Yeah. There obviously is a line. And he's obviously passed it. I don't have time doubting myself for him anymore. There's something I need to do right now. Garu! Will you listen to us? My sudden outburst made the three of them jump. You go on and on about protecting your son, which is fine. But did you forget and even consider that Ridge didn't have any parental models at all? Of course I did. You say you did. You just see his parents in him. I agree. They are scum from what I've heard. But aren't you judging too much on the cover? This guy has been living here alone and is scared of every single one of you because he knows what his parents did. He knows that is going to look like a nuisance no matter what he tries. Do you even consider what you did to him? What are you? When you just told him straight that he was not being useful, he almost gave up his passion of drawing and worked the entire night on the farm for you. Oh? Huh? You heard me! The guy literally did not sleep the other day and just worked the entire night in the dark, exhausted and alone. All because you couldn't hold your bias. Ridge is not his parents. Ridge is not even your son, so why do you expect him to act the same way? Ugh. The room went silent again. Breathe slowly, calm myself down again. I don't know what would have happened if I just let it be, but I don't care anymore if Garu gets upset with me too. I just want them to recognize that Ridge is also trying his best to grow up. That's enough, kid. I get it. Dad, maybe you should just listen to what Ridge has to say. He may want to talk to you. Okay, what is it? Go on, Ridge. Tell him what you told me. Ridge approached Garu slowly as he held his gaze. Sir, I am really sorry for not being helpful. I'm also sorry about not being able to contribute more to the village. I just wasn't sure that if I asked anyone to help, that they would actually let me. So even if I'm just starting now on the farm, please be patient with me when I want to feel like I belong here too. Koku is my only friend ever since I came here, but because of my parents, you never approve. I understand. But it has been years, and I don't want to look like the scumbags that are my own parents. So please, give me more time to earn your trust and give me a new chance to show you that I am serious about helping the village I call my new family. Ridge's eyes started to tear up again. Fuck, I'm sorry. No. Huh? W what? Dad? What do you mean? Yeah, what's the big deal? You kids need to let me talk now. I was trying to say no. He shouldn't be the one apologizing. What? You gave your points, and I might need to come to terms that my son and Ridge are both trying to grow up their own way. I don't know what I said the other day that gave you so much pain. I am sorry. I'll be more accepting and open, but I still care about my son. That will never change. What I will change is how I see you. Show me this new you, and show me how much you want to help. Ed Merchant, I... Please, kid. Call me Garu. Thanks, Garu. Fuck, I feel like crying. Language, though. I don't like profanity, but until my son becomes of age, you should not swear in front of him or me. Dad, did you forget that I'm older than him? And you said before that I... You know I said before that I don't mind it. When Mom and you used to yell deep in the forest when I was 14 years old? Why do you even still remember that? Garu then hid his face in shame. I really think Koku lost his innocence at a young age. I'm going to get some rest. I had a tiring day. Son, can you bring me something to eat? Okay. Feeling a bit relieved, we all gave a huge sigh. Thanks to both of you. It's okay. How about you two just spend the time together and I'll check on Dad? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Koku gave Ridge a smile and a weird look. By Ridge's response, I think he understood what he was trying to say. Okay, we'll get going now. See ya. Ridge and I left Koku's home so he could tend to his dad. 
not knowing where to go, Ridge said he wanted us to spend some time with said he wanted us to spend some time with me in private, so we just went back to my home. Once Ridge and I got back, he fell down on the floor, groaning. Ugh. Today was so fucking tired. <laughs> Amazing how you can hold back snoring for so long. I ain't that disrespectful. I was serious back there. And speaking of back there, hmm? Now how much did you hear? Uh, my guess about giving me a gift? Fuck! You heard all that? And the shit after that? Yeah. So, what do you think? About what? About my fucking idea! What idea? Ugh. Never mind. I'm so fucking embarrassed right now. Uh, okay! Hey. I know you said you can draw more, but I think I feel too damn tired, and I should probably get back. Oh, right. Went to the farm or are looking for you, and Joseph told me that you can spend the night here. Oh, fuck! Really? Bridget then immediately stood up with excitement in his eyes. I thought you were tired. Fuck that! Let's draw some shit! Okay, okay, I'll get some stuff ready. Ridge and I then spent the next two hours practicing how to draw. Compared to the other day, he seemed to be calmer and looks more focused. He had a few errors, but he was asking more questions. I was really happy to see him getting more and more open about his thoughts. There were a few bumps, but by the end he was done. He felt relieved and proud. I did notice he was getting tired, so I decided it would be a better end for now. I think we should stop here. You're starting to move slower and you did say you were tired earlier. Ugh, I think it's because I worked the entire night the other day. Just don't do that ever again. You have your body limits and I don't want you just collapsing from whatever it is you were doing just because you didn't rest. Yeah. Just so, I guess we'll be sleeping together. Of course, I want to sleep with you here. M me too, but it's my first time with... Someone else. We don't need to do anything. Besides, I've been feeling a little dizzy myself. I might need to take my own advice. No shit. I can ask someone for help. I'll be fine. I just want to spend more time with you too. Mm, if you say so. Thanks again for stepping up for me earlier. I don't know what happened that I just fucking blanked. It's okay. You were able to say what you want, and I was able to be useful to you. It's a win for both of us. Thanks! You're fucking amazing! Ridge gave me a reassuring smile. I think Ridge is liking me even more. Let me go ahead and set everything up while you move the subjects. Ridge and I cleaned up to make some room for the bed. Once I was finished, I went ahead and doused the candle and laid down beside him. Comfy. Yeah, it feels weird to have someone beside me, but it feels so fucking nice. Can we... Um... <laughs> come here. Mm. Turned over to face Ridge as I laid down with his arm serving as my pillow. While he held me closer, I can feel his heat rising and his heart beating faster. Thank you. I'll be here for you. Good night, Ridge. And good night, Dasher. Ridge almost immediately gave a soft snore. I didn't expect him to be this tired, but after a lot of stress, I think he still needs to just relax for tonight. I leaned upwards and gave his chin a kiss. I then suddenly felt him hug me tighter. I love you. Tomorrow is... Now comes a real question, and this is something that I've thought about. Do we want to do this entire update? Do we want to do the rest of Ridge's route tonight? Because I think, because we can pull it off tonight. Ridge and I spent the last night drawing, but we both got so tired. Yeah, we're gonna do it all tonight. Now back to what we were talking about, yeah. What y'all actually have is I just wanna reread this. Meow for Amatsu's sake! Let me You lay down there! I will get it! Hang on, there's actually one other thing that I wanna read. The mutant fruit. This 
This is made with mutant fruit. Okay, that's it. I have way too much fun with that. Ridge! What? <laughs> Grino has had enough of the scene. Ridge immediately grabbed my face and shoulders as if he was trying to check something. What the fuck happened? You are fucking okay? I'm okay, I'm okay, just a little pained. Please stop shaking me. Sorry! Did I do something to hug you too hard last night? I'm fine, Ridge. I just need some more rest. I'm sorry, I should have called someone. You're darn right, you should have. Yeah! If Mr. Ridge did knock on my door earlier, then you would have been worse condition. Yeah! You better thank him. Yeah! Exactly, but what the fuck happened to you to be like this? I was getting to that earlier before you knocked Lily on the door. Yeah! Sorry. It was not some virus like we originally thought. You just had a bad case of food poisoning from the wish jam made with spoiled fruit. <laughs> food poisoning? Fuck the berries we planted. I thought the old man already discarded those fuckers. How'd you discard the berries? Something something about them being made into fertilizer. I wasn't listening much to it. <laughs> Fertilizer? That was what I have been doing the other night. I didn't understand much about it, but I was trying to finish what the old man started. <laughs> I have way too much fun voicing Grano. I have way too much fun voicing him. I guess that's better than throwing it somewhere. My question now is, how did it get to my table? One bottle might have been mixed. We really need to sort them, yeah. Yeah, I guess it is lucky I'm the only one affected. Look, you're not, it's still fucked up. If I ever get my hands on the guy that gave you this, you'll be fine, but if you want a faster recovery, you'll need a max potion, yeah. I have some nutrients in case someone needed a boost, but what I don't have is a mandragora, yeah. Mandragoras are really hard in what makes nutrients into max potions, especially even with the guild mandragoras go for a high price for just a stem. I think I remember the crafting recipe for it, but I don't know if any of the places nearby have mandragoras. I just saw some regular mushrooms. You're well informed, nya. Mandragoras grow in cold and dark areas. I need to ask our traders tomorrow to get more, but it will be at least a few days, nya. Whatever happens, you need to stay here for a bit longer before you head back. I'll bring you nullberries tomorrow to ease the pain, nya. But I really need to go soon. If I don't, the village might be in danger. The village is hid is well hidden in case someone looks for nya. We didn't stay hidden just because, nya. Oh. For feeling, you really know the ins and outs of how the guild operates. <laughs> I'm not just a meow dick! I know how the guild searches! Let's get some rest, Nya. I'll leave you two for Nya. Mr. Ridge? Yeah? Don't make him stay up too late! As you know, he needs to keep resting, Nya! You don't need to fucking tell me, I'll make sure to keep him feeling good. Not that kind. Th that's not what I- Anyway, good night, Nya! Thanks, Grano. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get a happy ending. The old feline grabbed the large leaf near the door and went back out into the rain. Ridge approaches me and sat down beside my bed. He has this worried look on his face as he stares at me. Hey. Dude, you should have fucking told me about this last night. Reached out and held Ridge's hand, making sure to squeeze it tight. Took a bit of hesitation, but he squeezed back. It's not your fault, okay? You heard him. It was just food poisoning. I still feel fucking useless because I can't help you right now. I only took care of myself. I should have... I gripped Ridge's hand tighter. None of this is your fault. Stop blaming yourself. If you really feel sorry, just take care of me for a while. I am sorry for asking this, but I can't really do much like this. Of course I will. You don't fucking get away from me anytime soon now. Guess I am staying for a bit longer anyway, at least until a mandragora is found. Mandragoras. What the shit is that anyway? A mandragora? They're orange mushrooms that grow in very dark areas and hidden too. I saw a few when we were training, but I think I only remember seeing one in the wild once when we were near a river. Hmm. <laughs> you don't have to worry about them too much. The traders will be able to get some soon. And even if they don't, I'm still here. Can you stop acting strong like this? I'm being more fucking open, so you better too. If your ass ain't well, I'm here to hold it. The things you say. <laughs> but maybe let's talk tomorrow. I'm starting to feel a bit dizzy again. Here, let me help you get comfortable. Thanks. Ridge helped me get more comfortable and set me down on my bed. I was starting to get cold, so I also so we also covered my body with my the blanket. Also, Ridge. 
Yeah. Head back home fast, but be careful. You were wet when you arrived, so I assume you didn't have an umbrella. The shit is an umbrella. You don't know what that is? I guess that's something I can tell you about tomorrow. Just rush home, but stay safe. We're about getting fucking better first. Get some sleep, all right? Good night, then. Thank you. Ridge doused the candle and left me for tonight. Would have preferred if he stayed with me, but I don't think I want him getting sick either. Might just be food poisoning, but he can still catch my fever. Or maybe it's because he's a true ovarian and he has a bit of immunity. With that in mind, I start to drift back to sleep. <clears throat> Fuck this fucking rain! Fuck, is it around here something? Fuck, maybe they're here. Please. Ah! This is... The fuck is... We're fucked! But Jack, my beloved. Argo goes for an evening dip for the sixth time. We, I feel like we're gonna joke about it. This is the sixth time we're going through this! This is the sixth time! It's raining, men! So I feel like we got a joke about it. In some fashion. We got a joke about it. Wait, what happens if our name is Scrivener? Is it just Scrivener Scrivener? You are Scrivener, the guild Scrivener. It does not end here. Hi, Jack. Scrivener, Scrivener. Just think about that. What is with that shit-eating grin on your face? Yeah, bite your boat. Bite your lower lip. Did anyone else notice that he bites his lower lip? It's like he's trying to be sexy, but knows he isn't. You do have to admit, the music slaps. No, because he's so silly! Like, look at his silly little face. He's so silly. His ass is still not Maya. No one can ever replace her. And our title is Scrivener, too. Our name is Scrivener, 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 Scrivener. Four Scriveners. The commander is hot. I will die on this hill. The commander's hot as fuck. Bridge, the Tigrex Wavarian. To someone new, his mouth is just as loud as his attitude, which reminds me so much of that one bully I had back in my old village. He also makes so much eating jokes. It's not really such a good thing for my heart as someone who fears both a Tigrex and large men. Well, that was before. Now, I just want to spend all my time being with this Tigrex man. If I get past that foul mouth he has for words, he really is a fun guy. Though a short temper can sometimes be a problem if I don't give him enough encouragement. 
Ridge was originally living with the Elder, but I don't think I ever asked why he was sent to live with Joseph. I was actually worried at first because of how opposite their attitudes are. The Elder told me that it would be fine because despite how much they repel each other, they are more similar than I think. I was glad that I was proven wrong and everything turned out fine. Ridge works hard on the farm, but also balances it with his own personal arts. Though he prefers to do one more than the other. I don't know why I was so attached to Ridge. For some reason, I guess I felt envious of how free his mind was. It's like he just wants to live his life and that's that. For someone like me who started being a Scrivener, I'm not sure the same enthusiasm with him. I wanted to see more what he can do. I invited him with me to the waterfall. Before we even arrived, he started to open up about his past. I'm not sure why he trusted me, but I think he just wanted someone not from the village to listen. His parents were scum, basically. Used him as a tool for their crimes. They even tried to rob this village when they arrived. We don't know what happened to them, but Ridge didn't care anymore. He just wanted to relax. But for me, I guess I was too distracted at the time. I had so much in mind and had little time to process. Might have showed on my face. Ridge looked at me in concern and said that I should just let go sometimes. This might be the reason I'm not as panicked compared to before. Plus, I hope that Ridge just blurted out that he likes me. I didn't have the medal before, but I wish I could have said the same sooner. He asked me if I can teach him on how to draw because he still thinks his art is not as good as mine. That's not a fair comparison at all. I draw because I was trained to. He draws because it's fun. It took a few sessions, but he finally snapped. I think Ridge was so angry because he cannot make any good progress, and it's still too soon to say. Art takes time, after all. Eventually, it was too much for him. A constant reminder of what his parents did and everyone thinking he's just goofing off when he's actually working hard on the farm to make time to draw. I didn't want him to blame himself. He cried in my arms as I consoled him. It was nice that Ridge was finally being vulnerable around me. I was happy that he trusted me so, so much. Ridge isn't some guy that lazes about. He works as hard as anyone and has his own dreams. I won't let anyone step on them because they are my dreams now, too. Ridge is someone who I got to know because I refused to look at him on the surface. He just needed someone who can see past what others think of him. Someone he can really lower his guard around, and I intend to be that person. The fact that he is so open with his thoughts makes him so honest with his feelings. If things hurt, he will say something. If he's happy, he will curse it out. If he's hungry, he'll growl. Ridge deserves better, and I plan to help him with that. I don't wait to give him all the affirmations he deserves. It makes me wonder a bit if I'm good enough for someone like him. Quick save! I still have to fix that gin save. I fucked that gin save. Speed running. Our ace attorney speed run. <laughs> Sorry, this section is really fucking dull. Like, I love it, it's amazing, but it's a little dull. I believe this happened around four nights ago. I remember it was raining down pretty hard. We were on a cliff. Sir Largo said he would go on ahead and check down if there are any caves we can rest in. After a few minutes, I got worried, so I asked the Admiral if I can check up on him. Once I looked, once I got down, I saw Sir Largo on the ground and what looked like a Tigrex over his body. I saw a lot of Sir Largo's blood trailing from the river. It must be his wounds from being attacked. By the time the Admiral got down the cliff, the Tigrex has escaped into the forest. Yeah, there is. It's the same skip button as ever. The control button. I see. The victim separated from your group to scout the area to find shelter. However, when you haven't learned, fr when you haven't heard from them after a few minutes, you follow the trail and saw them being attacked. I see no issue with this testimony. Of course, sir. I only offer the truth of the situation with nothing else to hide. Bitch. That's why his testimony is as strong as Kamara steel. Mm hmm I agree. But since he is your witness, young Ash will begin his cross-examination. Cross-examination? Commander, is this really necessary? To ensure fairness, he has a right to question his testimony. You're free to ask any questions rega- yeah.
No, oh, shit. Which one was it? Shit. This is what happens when you go too hard. Oh, thank you. See, like, I know for the most part. After I was given permission by the Admiral to go check, I went down the cliff slowly since I had a lot of trouble. When I found the Tigrex in Sir Largo, I was too afraid to move. All I can see from far away was the Tigrex. I waited for a bit to think what to do, but then I heard the Admiral calling for me. So when the Tigrex stood up and ran away. Luckily, the Admiral saw what I saw and told me to give chase to it. I tried to chase into the forest, but I eventually lost him. That's when I turned back and tended to Sir Largo, who was already unconscious. Hmm. So you gave chase to the suspect, but you were not able to catch up. I I'm sorry, Commander. The rain was too strong, and it was really dark, so I had trouble seeing. Very well. Young Asher, you may begin your cross-examination. Thank you, Commander. This one sounds much stronger than before. I might need to question these claims more if I'm to get anywhere. Hang on. on. All right, I went back. Exactly, just get some netherite armor next time. Oh, you know he will. True Averns, you're just like normal Wavarians. We look like the monsters you hunt, but we're more dangerous than who you talk to every day. Depending on who we use them, we gain traits like them too, with some limitations. And how can we even know about us? We never had a visitor before to ask. That's before I met the kid over there. So even you don't know. Just as I suspected. This entire True Averians ploy was just an excuse to brand yourselves as safe. Commander! This witness is clearly deranged, as with the rest of the residents. And he even admitted that they gained the traits of the monsters they mirror. How can we be sure that this isn't some a this isn't all an act to ambush us? Huh? Say that again, you little- Admiral, I again warn you of badgering the witness. You should still give him respect by at least calling him by name. I mean, ambush? Aren't you and your hunters the one that ambushed this village? Badgering. I was just doing the same tactic you used on one of my men earlier. I'm only questioning him in the possibility of it being fake. Along with some of my other hypotheses. And you said so yourself. Sir Asher, we are hunters. We are tasked to attack monsters if it means to endanger humans. Oh? Is that really the truth? Is that just an excuse for you to cover the fact you're scared of something new? 
naivete really is the world you live in. And make decisions if it means to protect. A resident harmed one of us, any sane person would assume they all would as well. You think making decisions that would cause our death as an excuse? Maybe you enter the wrong profession, Sir Asher. Naive as it may be, that only means I can save those that you cannot. I believe that Gerald has only given the facts, and I'll prove it to you. Commander, allow me to cross-examine the witness. He is your witness. I don't believe you should. And this is not a real court, so I can use his words to prove to you that this is not false. That is enough. You both have presented your arguments about Sir Gerald's testimony. However, it seems that young Asher might have some evidence to back up his defenses. I'll allow this cross-examination. However, please make no mistake that we will need a concrete evidence for this. Ah, very well. In that case, I'll be sure to listen carefully so I can end that false play you've been starring in. <laughs> this guy's really getting on my nerves. Gerald, is it really true that you didn't know about true variants before? I'll keep saying it over and over. I don't know where the true variant thing came from. Just the Elder told me then these hunters are not letting him explain. Because I believe that you're actually lying. Not a village cheap not know anything like that. The only solution was it being a lie. Such a made-up story is not worth listening to. Then if you only listen to his story, then how about a Scrivener's? Are you insinuating that you told them about this? Don't make me laugh. You only started this year, and you've yet to actually do anything noteworthy. Enlighten me, please. Yes, I am still new. Nothing noteworthy can come from my few months of being in the guild. Who said anything about it be being me, though? I am actually talking about the Scrivener who first found this village. What? Young Asher, what do you mean? During my investigation of the village, I was able to find some old records. Notes from some years ago. Notes? What are the importance of these scribblings by these monsters? They could be lies! I knew you wouldn't believe the words of a villager, but these are the words of a scrivener. What? It says here that they encountered the monster they were monitoring. They got injured and eventually found this village. What are you talking about, kid? Gerald, you said earlier that the village did not have any visitors. Why did you lie about that? Lie? <clears throat> you mean... Yes, Gerald. In fact, it was you who suggested they stay hidden so they would heal. I... Mm, young Asher, what is the meaning of this? Is he not your witness? Why are you contradicting his statements? There is a reason for this, Commander. Gerald had no choice but to explain that there were no other visitors because... Any explanation he would give would crumble if he doesn't have anything to show for it. He cannot explain why there were why they knew there were true variants because he lacks the feature, the evidence. That is unless he brings up this injured scrivener in his testimony. Well, like an empty explanation, it would also crumble with no evidence. Evidence that I now have. To quote from the notes here, I believe I read about them too. True variants. And on the day he leaves. I told the Elder about true Avarians. What do you have to say about that, Admiral? This is just fabricated evidence. How can we show that this indeed came from a legitimate Skrilled member? S Guild member. Skrilled member. Skrilled member. Guild member. We do not have any records here on the hundreds and thousands of Guild members. I request this evidence to be disregarded. There is a way of knowing the authenticity. The Commander! What? The Commander is one of the longest running leaders in Dundorman, and I remember reading something here. Skrill issue. I have a feeling the village will get larger in the future. I might even get assigned here from Dundorma. So we need to ask. Commander! Please check these notes and tell us if it is from someone who worked at the guild. Very well. The entire room went silent. Did I not mute my fucking phone? Skrilled member? I'm gonna type how I thought it was. That the entire room went silent.
The only sounds we can hear are the flipping of pages. After a while, the commander stopped and looked at the contents of one letter. He has a look of surprise, but also some of the visible smile. Once he finished, he placed all the letters and notes back in their envelopes and placed it aside. He closed his eyes and faced back to all of us anticipating in the room. After carefully checking each letter and note, I have come to a conclusion. These letters are... Indeed written by Guild Scrivener! What?! Silence! This particular Scrivener is relocated near the Forbidden Lands a few years ago. I'm quite familiar with him. Thinking about it now, this might also be related to true variants. Regardless of his reason, this proves that they were indeed written by another Scrivener. Therefore, he is correct. This is authentic. Thank you, Commander. So, Admiral, this proves that they are indeed Wavarians and not just monsters. Therefore, labeling them as such without any no motive is... would not be the truth. Tch, lucky bastard. Admiral, do you have any other arguments? Hm. I admit that true Wavarians then might have been recorded before. But this does not prove the innocence of that Tigrex. What are you talking about, Admiral? Oh, calm down, you. Before anything else, Sir Gerald, was it? What do you want now? How is your... you call them your kid? If I would say something happened to that Zenogre back there, what would you do? Fuck you! If you touch my kids again, I will kill you! You hear me? I will kill you! Silence! I demand silence! Hunters, please escort Sir Gerald back to his home! Admiral, what are you trying to achieve here? Commander, let me be more honest for a second. We have been running around in circles about this place. I understand that it is my job to be thorough with the investigation, but I also dislike wasting time. I only played along because of the Scrivener's request. What kind of superior would I be if I were to not listen again? Then what do you suggest? As you can see, the current witness showed conviction in those eyes of harming me. Obviously, he cannot do anything because of the repercussions of his actions if you were to even lay a finger on me. That's because you threatened his children! Ah, uh, yes. Protecting the ones you care about. If this were your story, that would have been the end of it! But we are still missing one thing. What do you mean? Of course, I am talking about the truth! The truth? Let me put into words that you might understand. All of this was a waste of time. I am so I am requesting to end this far so fu uh, fuck that hurts but also feels good what but it's about the villagers and think about it we have a witness and an injured hunter to prove that the tigrex attacked us yet you only have sweet words without ev any evidence to back it up I of course have to agree with the admiral what we have discussed the village, however, we cannot ignore the individual that attacked. But, Commander! Listen here, newbie! Newbie? You were not there that night, and I have other witnesses that saw how bloody the victim is! I believe we should end our farce here unless you have anything that might prove useful. I... Uh... I see not. Commander, we are really behind schedule. We should move while there's still sun out. Facts might not always be the truth. Sir? I have always believed that truth will only prevail if all the facts were proven true. Seeing as we do not know everything, I have a solution that would be easier. A solution? What do you mean, sir? We can just ask the suspect himself. What?! You know what? Just so you spare Hatsune Miku. Silence. This has gone long enough. Both of you have ran around the subject and the Admiral is correct. We should confirm it from the source and just ask the suspect directly. But Commander! He's dangerous! He harmed one of my men! Enough! You claim the efforts of the Scrivener were in vain, however, it is proof enough to bring him to the witness stand. 
unless you claim that a table full of hunters cannot handle one small Tigrex. I cannot risk my men on this. Apologize, Commander, but I decline. Well, I understand your fear. However, I'll not pass down my judgment on speculations from both sides. So I suggest we call him here as your witness before we spend another night here. <laughs> there are no more objections. Let us now call the suspect. Ridge, since you're calling him as a witness now, I can directly disprove anything they say. I'm so close. The truth is just within reach. Commander being a... Not Commander. Admiral being a... Bitch! Oh, this was nepotism. Silence. We will now continue with the hearing for the suspect. Because of time constraints and everyone's mental status, this will be the last for the day if we will extend this to tomorrow. For tomorrow, however, I am hoping we can settle everything right now. Admiral, you may now call the witness. Oh, shit. Uh, we're gonna stop it for the ad. We're break from the ads. I forgot. I find it so funny how Lug is just getting the is just getting the shit beaten out of him whenever we beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> Lug, are you good? Are, are you are you secretly Zubal? Considering that I guess all your limbs, like, everything is detachable. Are, are you okay? Are you are you okay? Like genuinely speaking, are you good? Whatever makes you happy, my guy. Whatever makes you happy. Admiral, you may now call the suspect. Commander, are you sure about bringing a dangerous monster here? Oh, I've requested all the hunters to be on high alert. Even if he moves in a dangerous way, the hunters here, including myself, will restrain the suspect. You should not underestimate me and my men again, Admiral. Y yes Commander. I really don't want to see the Commander go angry. Calm down, Asher. I should focus. Ridge is finally up and will be interrogated. I'm sorry, Ridge. I'll make it up to you later for putting you in this position. Hope you can handle the pressure because everything rides on his words. Ridge. Maybe it's just me, but he looks exhausted. Ridge might have received the same treatment as the Elder. Tigrex, state your name and occupation. Suspect! What the fuck do you want with me? Get your virgin doll looking ass out of my face before I vomit from giving a fuck! <laughs> God damn! Why you? Admiral, I am again requesting. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that was beautiful. Admiral, I am again requesting for you to respect the villagers. Hmm, this is getting nowhere. How about I just do the talking, Commander? Very well. Please question the suspect. Well, here's my chance. I better not screw this up. Hey, Ridge. We just got some questions about a few nights ago and we needed some answers from your perspective. Hey, what the fuck is this shit? Ridge, this might be confusing, but we need your testimony. Test- what? Something about my balls? Damn it! <laughs> oh my- Oh my god! It's some, what, something about my balls? Why would humans want- Not testicles! Testimony! What's the difference? I just want to hear what happened, okay? Oh. It might just be my imagination, but did he look very hesitant? I think being around these hunters might be clicking might be clicking to him, because he keeps looking around. <laughs> but not his testimonies! I should just get straight to the point, so this can all be over soon. Ridge, can you tell me what happened four nights ago when you were at the waterfall? Fuck!
not his testimonies. No, we're not going to hold his balls. We're going to hold his testimonies. That is the new word. Bridge, you need to stay strong for me here and just look at me. I want to let you know that I'll do everything to help clear your name, make everyone in this room hear my voice. You're misunderstood even till now, and I am frankly fucking tired of you being labeled as anything but you. If any even if everyone is against you, I will be by your side to keep telling you you're safe. So don't stay silent. Speak out, Ridge. You shouldn't protect me by staying silent, because there was something that bothered you that night. You can leave everything to me. No matter what happens, it will not change my view of you. So to show my loyalty, I swear on my honor as a scriven- No. I swear on my name that I'll protect you! Yeah, sure. My doubts are finally gone. Finally chosen what I want to risk. I'll believe in Ridge no matter what. I'm announcing it now. If I fail, I will join everyone in this village. And so I'm abandoning this. This badge is not as valuable as Ridge. I, Asher, am renouncing my position as a guild scrivener. Huh? Huh? What is the meaning of this? Commander, I believe I am in no position to serve the guild anymore. I will dedicate everything I have to helping this village. And I'll prove to you all that Ridge is innocent. You're overreacting like a spotted Kieran. How dare you turn your back against the guild? The guild I know and who I am with right now is not the same. If the guild promises to protect everyone from monsters, then I'll protect these true Avarians from the guild. Commander, this is absurd. We already lack in manpower, now this shit- Enough. Young Asher, is this truly what you desire? Yes, sir. To protect everyone. He was correct, after all. Very well. The case will continue. Commander! Enough. I will see to the end of this. Young Asher, continue. Thank you, sir. My heart is still pounding after all that. Now that I cannot back out, losing is no longer an option. Ridge? I can take care of myself, so please tell me what happened. I... Shit, you're gonna fucking make me cry. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, now I'll leave everything to you. This is what fucking happened that night. I felt fucking bad leaving you sick, so I went to the waterfall that night to find your orange mushroom or whatever. It took me a long time, but I finally found the fucker, and I was able to leave when I heard a branch break and someone fell in the water. I know I should, but I found myself jumping in and saving the guy. I didn't help the fucking armor was heavy as shit. I tried removing the armor to let the fucker breathe. When I was able to remove it, someone saw me with a scared face. I did all I could, so I just ran back to the village and tell the elder. It felt bad because we were supposed to be hiding. He said the word fuck a total of four times in that. This is very different. And profane. You said that you saved the victim from drowning and then escaped? S sorry about that, sir. It's just a uh, habit. And I saved him because it's the right thing to do. I don't need an excuse to do that, do I? That is absurd. If Sir Largo indeed fell into the water, how are we not able to hear it? Fuck off. Look, dude. I was near the water, so I fucking heard the guy fall. These ears aren't for show, you know. I wasn't blind either. I saw the fucker fall from the sky. So uh, just accept the truth, because you're looking pretty shit right now with all that overthinking. Absurd. This is absurd. Enough. Admiral, you have any evidence or arguments that contradicts Sir Ridge's testimony? I... T hmm. Commander, this does explain... This does not explain the medical report given. Said Sir Largo had a scratch wound on his chest and was heavily bleeding. The Tigress attacked the armor once he was able to remove... Attack the victim once he was able to remove the armor. As long as it stands, he was still capable of harming Sir Largo during the time he was not seen. I was thinking the story is too convenient for it to be true. So, who cares what you fucking think? Asher fucking believes me and that's all that matters, right? Right. Commander, I will question the witness to prove to the Admiral that this is true. Ridge, just answer all of my questions honestly and leave it to me. Sure, hit me. Hm. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. You went to the waterfall for me? Fuck! Uh, you were sick and all that, and I couldn't rest thinking about how fucked up you looked. I couldn't- I can't wait for the traders to find some, so I just went to go find some myself. Maybe I shouldn't have, because I caused fucking trouble again. Ridge. It's fine, okay? Everything will be fine. 
I feel happy you went out of your way to get one for me, but they're rare. If something worse happened to you, I don't know what I would do. So next time, just stay with me if you want to help my... Commander, I would like to ask the Scrivener to stop flirting with the witness. Agree. But young Asher, please refrain from unnecessary comments during the hearing. S sorry, Commander. Just to clarify, you were only there by coincidence? Yeah, I didn't really want to be running around in the fucking rain. I just want to find that stupid mushroom and get back to your side and... Praise me! Fuck, this is so embarrassing. Because I was starting to regret it when some fucking guy fell into the water. No, I wanted praise. Do you remember how high it was the fall? Not really. I saw him fall from not from where, probably up at the fucking top. I seen him fall into the water maybe remember what you went through. Right, that's what happened to me too. However, this contradicts another statement. If he fell from the top of the waterfall, then why didn't we see him fall? The victim was sent ahead, so the fall was lower and less lethal if he did. He wouldn't need any help, and he's a high rank hunter of exceptional caliber. Admiral, please don't forget that it was raining at the time. Climbing up or down a grassy cliff during heavy rainfall will cause an accident. I wouldn't be surprised if he slipped shortly while he climbed down. Speaking from experience, the shock of falling and suddenly drowning would render anyone helpless. Therefore, Ridge said it might be possible. For now. The fuck you mean for now? What made you attempt to save him? It's really embarrassing, but because it, it reminded me of you. Now, I remember hearing from the Elder that what you fucking went through, and I didn't want another shit like that happening again. So I guess I just dove in without thinking anything. Ridge, he really is just someone who is so caring, he tends to overthink. I promise that I'll do what I can to help clear your name so we can finally get back to your arts. Regardless, I can use this for something later. And just saved one of the hunters that hunt you because you felt you need to? That is extremely convenient. Surely there's some reason why other than kindness. Oh, fuck off. I just said I did it because it was so... It was to fucking redeem myself for some shit. Not everyone expects to be paid like your virgin looking ass. I did what I did because it was fucking right. Not that you know a thing about fucking. Truly absurd. Hm. No further questions. <laughs> That's my Ridgie. Imagine being nice. Couldn't be the Admiral. Can you describe the one that spotted you? I couldn't see his damn face, so I don't know. I can tell that the guy, like, wears, like, blue and red armor. I think there was more blue on it, but that might just be me. Sorry, but that's all I remember. That's fine. Your description matches Jack, and it aligns with his testimony. But I feel like there's something strange about this. We just never touched her worn armor before, or at least know how to wear one. There's something fishy with that evidence. Yeah. When you ran back, did you bring anything with you? It was a damn mushroom that I came for. I did see his weapon, but I don't want to do anything that would get me in more into trouble. Right, his weapon. Can you tell me what weapon that is? It's okay, just describe it. Okay, it was a bow gun, I'm fucking sure of that. It was brown, maybe made of wood, and didn't have a wing compared to the bow guns I'm used to back then. I see, that also matched the testimony we had earlier. Admiral, since you are Sir Largo's leader at the time, and clear clearly remember this bow gun. Please tell us this description fits the bow gun. And might I remor remind you you are under oath? <laughs> Ordering me around like that? How dare you, Admiral? Fine. The Tigrex's words are accurate. Hold right there, Ridge. You said you removed the armor, right? Yeah. Had some trouble breathing, so I took his shit off. And how did you remove his armor? Huh? I have a hunch. It seems like you removed it the right way. The fuck? Uh, the right way? He obviously ripped it off. Take a look at this armor. There's obviously damage on the chest and scratch marks. This... This signifies that the armor was removed by force. There is no other way that the armor was removed as such. There is. If you look at the armor at a glance, it appears to be damaged. However, I noticed the scratch marks were only on the chest. 
This is a type of steel armor, meaning it is connected by a latch. Turn it around. Here. Ah, here it is. That is. This is an armor latch. Latch here doesn't appear damaged as well used, but it does seem taken care of. After studying armors back in training, I remember that steel and solid armors need a latch. Mostly to fix things into place, but also to keep it very secured that even a monster will not be able to remove it easily. So if you do claim that the armor was removed by force... Why is the latch still intact? That's because, uh, it was just a coincidence the Tigris was able to unlock it. I highly doubt that, Admiral. You should know that these latches are only taught to guild personnel, and it is very difficult to remove it. Ridge might have saved the victim from drowning, but he did not know how to remove it either. Wait, he saved the victim from drowning? Doesn't that mean the victim was actually... Ah! Young Asher, is something the matter? Commander! We've overlooked something extremely crucial from the testimonies we had so far. Something crucial? What are you talking about? Explain. All this time, we were assuming this from the report and the testimonies, but there's something missing in the testimonies entirely. That's right! Ridge, was the victim awake after you got him out of the water? Is... What is this nonsense? It says here in the report that Sir Largo drowned. Wrong! The report says that there were signs of him almost drowning. Even my question with the villager's feline medic, Grano, said that the victim almost drowned. Almost drowning means he did not drown! What? Silence! I demand silence! Young Asher, explain. What are you insinuating? Certainly, sir. When I thought about the latch, Ridge certainly hasn't seen one before. Then that begs a question. How did Ridge know how to unlock it and remove the armor? I can assume he tried by removing it by force, hence the scratch marks. That I can agree with the Admiral, but there was a difference. The purpose was not to attack the victim, but to just remove the armor so he could breathe. And with nobody else there to teach him but Sir Largo... Sir Largo was the only one who could have said something. Correct, Commander. Absurd. Sir Largo was unconscious during the entire situation. The rookie said so in his testimony. Wrong again, Admiral. Jack only said that he saw Ridge towering over Sir Largo. Remember that he was so focused on seeing Ridge that he could not focus on the body under him. Let's make this easier for us. Ridge, can you tell me right now if the guy you saved was awake? He was awake. Enough. Silence. Are you sure about this, Sir Ridge? He was definitely awake, just like what Asher said. It was this fucker I saved that told me how to remove it. And why was this not added to your testimony? I just thought y'all knew this shit already. Knew? Left the guy awake and didn't do anything else. But, fuck, I should have said something, huh? Sorry. You're lying. Admiral, do you have any other counter-arguments about this? Yes, he's a stinky poo-poo head. Commander, how can we confirm that this is correct? I mean, the victim being awake. This is absurd. What the fuck is wrong with you? The shit I didn't die, and I was talking to him all the fucking time. If you spend more time listening to the shit I've been saying, then think that. <laughs> God damn! If you spend more time listening to the shit I've been saying, then fingering your virgin ass, maybe you could have heard something. H how dare! I do agree that words are not enough to convince me that it is true. Exactly. However, with the evidence presented, I cannot deny that it is highly possible. What? Uh, to get a bigger picture... <laughs> to get a bigger picture of the situation, Sir Ridge. What? Please give your full testimony again. This time, include the details about talking with the victim. I'd like to hear what happened after you saw Sir Largo fall from the cliff. I expect the full truth from you. The truth. Ah, <laughs> fine. Commander sounds like he's probing Ridge for more information. And I still have a weird feeling we're not getting the full picture just yet. There's still some unanswered, quest unanswered questions, but there's something that is still bothering me, specifically with how Ridge is moving right now. I thought he looks tired, but why does it look like he's hiding something? Like I fucking said, he fell from the damn cliff, and I jumped in to get him out before he drowned. It was a fucking struggle. He was, uh, he was heavy. Yeah, heavy. When I finally got his ass on the grass, I tried to take off his armor and weapon to help him lay down and breathe easier. You're the fucking armor out of luck, but it's a good thing you taught me how to open it quickly. I needed to help him breathe, so I was gonna push on his chest, but, was, but, no, but another fucking guy saw me. I wanna fucking stick around too long, so I just ran back and told the other what happened.
Oh, I see. So far, all the evidence events fit with the evidence as provided. Uh, do you have any questions on this testimony? Hmm. Tigrex, you said that you tried removing his armor. I'm assuming you scratched his chest plate. There's no fucking purpose. Yeah, I scratched the fucking thing. What? You want me to pay for it, you greedy bastards? Ridge, calm down. It's okay. I'll handle and pay for the damaged armor. For now, just answer his question. I... Fine, I trust you. Yeah, I tried removing his armor. And since Sir Largo was awake, you got help from him and you removed it. That is what you claim. Uh, yeah? You said you were going to press on his chest. What do you mean by this? What the fuck? Do you even learn how to help people? I am s I am isolated in this shit and I still know what to fucking do. You need to press on his chest and pump his lungs so he can fucking breathe. Then explain to me. Wow, is there a wound on this chest matching the scratch marks? Huh? Explain yourself, Admiral. Oh, calm down. Listen to what I have to say first. Scratch marks on his chest as seen on this medical report. It says here that the marks shown match the ones on his chest plate. If you were the only one able to remove his chest at the time, then you are also the only one able to do harm on him. Th that's not true! Admiral, that wound may have been after he was with Ridge. It does not prove the Ridge caused the wound. You're wrong. If this Tigress was indeed the one who saved Sir Largo, he would be the only one at the scene where he could have harmed him. Are you insinuating my hunters did such things? May or you may be suggesting another resident did it. That's not what I was... What of the blood? Even your own feline medic saw the gruesome situation with his own two eyes. The body was covered in blood after he was brought here. Can you then explain the blood? Fuck, I... That's enough, Admiral. I'm only stating the truth. We still have open questions that did not have any answers. Unless you can explain the blood, then it's still a case of assault against a hunter. Let me explain something to you, Admiral. It is not Ridge who are fighting. It is with me. Very well. Then prove to me I'm wrong. Gladly. When you pulled him out, did you have much trouble? No. I... It was fine. Seems to be hesitant. Did something happen in the waters? You struggled? What do you mean you struggled? It was because of the, uh, the armor. You're right. Yeah. Ridge, you're hiding something, aren't you? Whatever it is, Ridge. I want to keep my promise. I'll be sure to help you no matter what, so if there's something else you need to say, please say it. So when we are done, we can go and swim at the waterfall again. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Just, you know, I didn't fucking say anything because you were overthinking. I didn't want to worry you. I'm already trash in the village, and I don't want you worrying about trash. Think about it now. Maybe I'm not. Don't worry, Ridge. No matter what happens here, no matter what you say, I promise that I will not change how I see you. You're important to me. I will protect you, and I will make sure the truth comes out. The truth? Fuck. You know, I make a fuck guy fucking cry. Just don't panic. All right. Let me ask you again. What happened while you were still in the waters? He attacked me. What? Huh? Whoa. Silence. I demand silence in this room. That is a big claim. Sir Ridge, are you sure Sir Largo attacked you? Yeah, I didn't want to admit it, but I got attacked by the guy I fucking saved. And why did you stay silent about this? I was scared. I didn't want to be a burden to anyone here anymore, and I just didn't say anything. Maybe because of this Largo guy? I promised him that I would not tell anyone about it, because he looked scared too. Where was this information before? Are you just toying with us? Or is this another one of your lies? I'm not fucking lying! You really want proof? What do you call this, then? Th that could have been from anywhere. I would be sure that it wasn't from that night. Admiral, I guarantee you this is from the waterfall. As Ridge mentioned in all his earlier testimony, we met the same night before the incident, and I can conclude that I didn't see any wound in that area. Just how close are you? Of course that would be a lie. I was too sick to notice anything, but considering he had enough energy to run back to the waterfall that night, it's not possible to think that he was fine before the incident. Ridge? Can you give me more details? What did he attack you with? It was some knife from his back. Thinking about it, it felt familiar. I was hit by the same kind before. A carving knife. 
That would make sense. Sir Largo probably thought he was getting attacked by a monster and instinctively grabbed his knife since it was close ranged. Fuck, I'm sorry. No, we should have. I know you should have fucking said something, but I didn't want to make you worry. Sir Ridge, please include this in your testimony. Without any profanities. Young Asher, you may continue. Yes, Commander. I think this answers the main question about the injury. Ridge. Ridge, can I see the wound again? I... Fuck, can I just show you later? I don't mind showing off to you, but with them, I... No. Uh, right, just face towards me and I'll check it. Really? Guess I have no choice, but you owe me! Has this. Hmm. Alright, I just want to confirm the mark it has. You can hide it again. <sighs> Judging from the marking, it definitely looks like it was from a carving knife. Or at least a backup one. Did you at least get it cleaned and disinfected? The feline medic helped me patch things up. Good. Ridge, are you okay? I... Yeah, I feel really good now. Thanks. About his weapon. You didn't use it or anything, right? You just removed it from his body and placed it at the side? Just moved it. I didn't really want him holding that shit. I don't want him to suddenly attack me again. It's not like I have any use for that fucking thing anyway. I didn't want to disappoint the Elder. Could have been a present to Koku. But I know it's traumatizing. To prove to everyone right now, can you unlock the Slatch? Locked it again just now, and I want you to unlock it. Again? It was annoying the first time. Got it. Here. Here you go, Commander. The latch has been unlocked. It seems to be. This proves that Ridge has the knowledge to unlock the latch. The knowledge he got from the victim, Sir Largo. Well, Admiral. <laughs> then answer me this. How could be sure he didn't know how to open a latch? Easy. If you remember the village chief's testimony earlier, true Avarians don't need to wear armor. Wearing armor only hinders their movements, and, and since they have scales and fur that are as strong as of monsters, there was no reason for them to use armor. Ergo, Ridge did not know how to how to unlock the latch before meeting the victim. <laughs> he looked confused. You just looked confused? I don't fucking know how to explain this shit. Now I'm all confused, too. Let me change the question, then. Why do you think he looked confused? Maybe because I saw another guy? Think might have looked weird. Or maybe because he realized you looked like a Tigrex. Shut the fuck up, Admiral. So you told the Elder what happened, including you being attacked? Yeah. Telling the Green Pickle would have made things harder, and I know the Elder would understand. It's sorry to you and the Elder for making you worry. It's fine. What's important is what's important now is that you told us, and it is helping me a lot. Yeah, thanks, Ridge. I just have a few more questions for you, all right? Fine. Yeah. Wait a second, Ridge. You are bleeding from your leg, right? Yeah, I did. I just want to confirm, how did you position yourself? Position. What do you mean? I'll tell you later, Ridge. But for now, just answer my question. How did you position yourself when you were removing his armor? Fuck, how do I explain this shit? I guess, flipped? I don't fucking know. Let me rephrase it then. Was your right leg anywhere near his head while you were removing his armor? I think I did. Yeah, I did touch his head with my thigh. It was fucking hard to see, so I had to remove- So I had to move and position myself so I can unlock his shit. Wait, you're not asking me cause- This cause you're fucking jealous about rubbing my thigh on another guy's face, right? Uh, no, that's not it. <clears throat> the Admiral claimed, along with our doctors, that the victim arrived in the village rather bloodied. To be more precise, the victim's head was rather covered in blood. I thought it was weird at 1.2. How would it be weird? Clearly this Tigrex attacked and we already have wounds on his chest. There's nothing to be confused for this. Are you sure about that, Admiral? Or have you forgotten how nature works? What? Young Asher, can you explain what you're trying to say? Yes, sir. Like I said, I thought it was weird when the first medical report I got didn't mention the wound. 
Then when Ridge said he had a wound on his leg, something clicked. The reason why the victim has a bloodied head was actually because Ridge was dripping his blood on his head while removing his armor. Yeah. Silence, and a man everyone silence. Young Asher, can you explain how you got that conclusion? Certainly, sir. If you look at the medical report both the feline medic and the doctor brought, another similarity shows. Sir Largo's head was covered in blood upon medical inspection. No external source, no experimental wounds on the head to signify a source. That's when I wondered, how did the blood get there anyway? I would like for you to read that report again, Scrivener. The scratch marks on his chest is the source. I'm not so sure about that, Admiral. There's a grueling flaw about that logic. What flaw? Explain yourself. What was a flaw here? Let me enlighten you. Let me then enlighten you, Admiral. The head was bloodied and it was raining that night. It would make sense that the hunter with the hunter wounded in a bloodied head. However, the issue lies with the location of the wound. What? It was not near the head, nor even the neck or shoulders. Not even the knees and toes. If the location of the wound was on his chest, the blood could not have been from that wound. That means the blood on his head wasn't from his chest wound. <laughs> so with the way gravity works and where the wound was, we cannot confirm that the blood was the victim's blood. With Ridge's wound matching the testimony with Jack, and Ridge's proof of heroism by saving a human he was supposed to hide from, wouldn't you agree, Commander, that he deserves to be respected rather than accused? Yeah, sure. But that's not all. Let's say as well, for the sake of argument, that Ridge did accidentally scratch his chest. Wouldn't that mean Sir Largo also cut Ridge's leg? He both did harm to each other. It doesn't all this information mean that Sir Largo was the only one who attacked with intention? Silence. I see. The evidence seems to point that the residents here do not hold any malice towards the guild. I believe I've seen enough and am ready to hand down my verdict. Admiral, are you satisfied? Do you have any additional arguments? I do not. I accept my loss here. I see. You seem rather calm about this compared to your rather passionate start. I understand when I've been bested. I'll return to the guild to report on this and leave the village with the Scrivener. I'm sure that is what he wanted. Is it just me? The Admiral had a change of attitude all of a sudden. Something is still fishy here. Young Ash, do you have any other arguments? No. There is definitely still something missing here. <laughs> what is it? Young Asher? S sir Is something the matter? You look very deep in thought. Let's just move on, Commander. He's probably just daydreaming again. Maybe some ghostly wisdom giving her... Maybe some ghostly woman giving her advice on what to say or something. That's not why. It's just that I feel like we are missing something. Missing something? Yes, sir. It's something we overlooked. You already have your verdict and you still want to waste our time. What else do you want to complain about? I... I, too, see little value in the song, Ash. Can you tell me what we were missing here? His wounds... Did we not discuss his chest wound earlier already? What more can you do to prove my speculation was indeed wrong? We did, but that was not the one I was talking about. Commander, correct me if I'm wrong, but Sir Largo, he is in a coma right now, right? I believe so. Admiral, uh, what is his current status? He is resting at the house near the field. During recess after, the doctor said there was no improvement and he is still in a coma. I see. Continue, young Asher. What about this confuses you? Commander, we have yet to know who actually attacked Sir Largo. What?! Silence! I demand silence! Admiral, is this true? Well, I... I think... I, I... We didn't mention it. Hmm. I guess even the commander didn't think about this. There was something strange with the admiral. Wait! Could it be... No, that's the only way it made sense! But if so, why? Young Asher, do you have any ideas on this? Commander, I have a hunch, but I need to verify a few things first. Very well. Ridge, did you see anyone else before running off? Huh? I saw it was that fucker who spotted me. I didn't hear calling. Calling? It wasn't fucking loud or anything, just yelling from deeper in the forest. When I looked up, I saw one guy and thought maybe I should fucking leave soon. Probably should have paid more attention. Hmm. Admiral, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is you who called out to Jack, right? And if I'm not mistaken, you also confirmed it earlier. What is your point? Hmm. When Ridge heard that scream, he ran away because he saw Jack. The Admiral then ordered Jack to chase after Ridge. Since the Admiral was wearing lighter armor than the other hunters, I can only assume he went down faster. By the time Jack sees him, it was only the Admiral and no other witnesses. This means the only other person to do this was... Ah! Young Asher. Makes sense now. The Admiral is the reason Sir Largo was in a coma. What? 
silence. Everyone, I demand silence. Young Asher, these are serious allegations. Exactly. Wait, do you think I was actually the one who caused this? The Admiral is a great asset to the guild. I frankly find it hard to believe he would harm a high-ranked hunter. What even gave you this idea? I didn't want this conclusion either, sir. But it's the only one that made sense. Elaborate. The events tell the reasons itself. Once Ridge helped Sir Largo out of the water, he tried to remove his armor so he can breathe. In doing so, he also removed his weapons from him, mostly for his own safety. Before he spotted Jack, Ridge first heard the Admiral's voice calling out to him. This made Ridge look up and run away in a panic, leaving his armor and bow gun. But the Admiral saw as well what happened, ordering Jack to chase Ridge. On purpose or not, that left the Admiral and a conscious Largo to be the only ones together at this time. Meaning... The Admiral was the only one that could have knocked Sir Largo out. What the? Asher, are you sure about this? I've already conceded. Explain to me then why I would actually attack Sir Largo. I requested Sir Largo because he's one of the best hunters in the guild. What would I gain from attacking him? I have no motive, so this is all baseless. No, this isn't baseless. Sending Jack to chase Ridge, wanting Sir Largo out of commission, locating the monster village. These all don't relate to each other. Maybe I'm thinking too normal. I can only speculate, but what is it that connects all this together? The Admiral is a persuasive person to the point of having these hunters listen to him. His intention should be buried somewhere there. Focus on his thought process, finding and judging a village full of monsters. That was his original intention. To that, he would be praised. Praise I would give him a... promotion. What can you tell us, Jack? He's my senior, Largo. He's a high rank hunter and someone I look up to. Unlike the Admiral, Sir Largo is not really a professional hunter. He often jokes during hunts, but also plays around when in a new location. But even when he is not serious, he always finishes the quest faster and better than anyone I've met. I have even heard rumors that he would be able to get another rank up soon and might get a position as a vice commander. That's it! Huh? I now know why you did it. What? Explain. Sir Largo was a seasoned hunter with great achievements. It comes to stand that Sir Largo was up for a promotion to a vice commander. Is this correct, sir? I cannot deny that we have been considering his accomplishments on our table for a while. So what? These are just rumors. Even I brushed it off as just that. Give me facts. Evidences. I don't need these if the rumors are to be believed. What? These rumors are spread around to the point that hunters know Sir Largo was a great candidate for the promotion. Rumor or not, there was no way to confirm if this was true. Making somebody very anxious. You wanted to gain the glory of finding this village. You wanted to be the judge and lock up these villagers. That is why you're so keen on proving them as monsters and why you withdrew once you saw there was no other plan. And you wanted to make sure that Sir Largo will not get in your way. I... Absurd. This is all absurd. I put my heart and soul into the guild. It is all just speculation. But you forgot one thing, Admiral. The medical report still has one detail that we've yet to talk about. What? I need to thank you. Because like the blood and the signs of drowning, there was another thing the doctor noticed on the report. When I was reading the report, I brushed it off as something that might have been normal. The indent wound on the head. I originally thought it was an old wounder from the fall. But thinking of the position of the wound in the situation, I don't think that's the case. This wound was actually from the bow gun. Absurd. Are you implying that I shot Largo? Why the fuck would I shoot Largo in the head? Language, Admiral. I didn't say you shot Largo. In fact, it was probably the reason why there was a bullet at the scene. You actually hit Largo on the end, on the head with the other end, causing the gun to cock itself. Doing so made it release the bullet. If you shoot him, it would cause a loud sound. A sound louder than the rain, which would have caused the attention of the other hunters. That is why you have to strike him on the head instead. Am I correct? <laughs> You're probably hoping to actually kill Sir Largo and pin it on Ridge. Luckily, it backfired. His resilience as a hunter paid off, causing it, causing it only knocked him out. He has taken harder hits from high-ranked monsters, I assume. The shock from almost drowning and a blunt hit on the head can cause anyone to get knocked out into a short coma. And with Jack returning after chasing down Ridge, you had no choice but to stop there and play it off as an attempted assault instead. That's why you're rushing to leave before he wakes up and says his side of the story. That'll put holes in yours. Killing your competition for promotion while claiming you stopped a group of monsters. It's practically perfect. Almost perfect. Fuck you! How dare you accuse someone like me! Proof! Where's your proof? Show it to me! Admiral, calm yourself. It's okay, sir. I can handle this all by myself. Admiral, you want proof? There's a simple way we can know for sure what happened. <clears throat> All we have to do is match the weapon imprint. I believe I have a bow gun under that table. If you have a doctor match the handle to the indent on Sir Largo's head, we can be sure that bow gun is what caused him to go into a coma. Partner that with you being the only one able to do it, and the only weapon was a bow gun. Sorry, I fucking love that face. It's a face only a mother can love. Admiral, you are guilty of attacking Sir Largo. I, I, hmm. 
Admiral noises. Okay, Super Saiyan Goku. Enough! Admiral, I suggest you calm yourself down. We will have a discussion about your actions later, but now you need to calm yourself. No. You... You ruined everything. You're just some fucking lowly scrivener. You're not even a hunter. I may not be, but a hunter is made to protect everyone, but all you cared about is yourself. I have someone to protect, and I'll protect them from people such as yourself. Huh. You want to see the weapon so badly? <laughs> Here! Have a taste of it! What the- Take this! Fuck! Move! In the wise words of my grandmother, Uh-oh, Spaghetti-O. Ridge immediately shoved the podium to the side and pounced over the table, making me fall on the floor. The ringing sound of a bow gunshot still lingers in my ear. Hunters apprehend him! Let go of me! I am your admiral! I am your superior! I am a hero! Respect me! My vision. I couldn't see. Was it from the shock of being shot? I tried speaking out, but I can only hear... someone yelling. Young Asher, are you okay? Huh? I... I... <laughs> Fuck shit. Ridge... His grip on me suddenly tightened. Was I shot? No, I don't think I felt anything. <laughs> Sir Ridge, what is... Oh no. No, 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 no! Commander? Sounds worried. What is happening? M meow? M meowster? I slowly opened my eyes to a horrific scene. Meowster? <sighs> yeah, okay! Elder! Elder! Hunters, get this killer out of here! Now! The commander screams with strength as the distant laughter of the admiral fades. The commander also follows closely behind the dragged killer. I don't care what happens to him anymore. But the elder... Fuck, 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 let me get someone! Young Ridge... Elder, please don't talk! I... I'll get help! Just... Hang on! Ah, uh, Young Ridge... I remember when you first arrived. So vulgar. So free. But lost. Now you have a place. Please stop fucking talking, Elder! Shit, anyone! Get the fucking doctor or something, you useless conga asses! Get someone, anyone to help, please! Help my papa! Oh, that hurts worse! It is okay. Do not worry, Young Ridge. How can you- Fucking say that! Meowster! Please rest! Yeah. Okay, Grano! Young one, please stay with me. Meowster! Thank you for staying so long. Elder, stop fucking joking about that. That, that is, this isn't fucking funny. You're not dying, right? You're gonna be fine, right? Don't leave yet. Yeah, I can't live without you. Oh, young Ridge. You are already strong. I am fated to die. Soon. So I want you to keep going. The village needs you. It needs a hard-working talent. Dad, no, I'm not talented. You are. <laughs> Please stay, stay with me forever, Dad. <laughs> are you being selfish again? <laughs> 
It'll be okay. <coughs> I feel tired. Meowster! It is okay, little one. Young Asher. The elder calling out to me finally made me snap and move. I merely stumbled standing up as I tried approaching. Thank you for saving the village. Please protect us in the future. Elder! Elder, please rest! Where the fucking help?! It is okay, young Ridge. You will do fine. Meowster? Meowster? Fuck, this isn't happening. No, 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 no! Dad, wake up! No! Please, wake up! Where the fuck is the help? Why are you standing there? Dad, come back to me! I love you! I love you, Dad! I'm sorry, I'm not the perfect son! I love you! <laughs> love... <laughs> the Elder's final breath. Ridge cries out a loud roar along with the housekeeper. With only us in the room with a few confused hunters, Ridge's eyes and arms arms and eyes begin to glow bridge shit fuck bridge guild hunters i'm fucking sick of it I'm fucking sick of all of it I i'm sorry i just should have been me i should have been fucking punished so why why did dad have to die Ah! Ridge, he's tried reaching out to Ridge's shoulder to comfort him. Ridge swatted my hand away. Get the fuck away from me! Ridge, I just want you to fuck off! Leave me and my dad alone! Leave all of us alone! Monsters! You all are fucking monsters! Ridge, this is not like you. I just want to help. He said, get the fuck away from me! Sir Asher, don't come closer! The remaining hunters around the room suddenly unsheathed their weapons, pointing at Ridge. But... Leave them alone! That's an order! Jack comes over and tugs on my arm. That includes you too, Asher. But I- Let him grieve. If you force yourself on him, it'll only hurt more. I know how that feels. Uh, Ridge. <laughs> he clawed to him. He only curled up to the Elder's body. The housekeeper hasn't stopped crying, crying while Ridge buried his face on the Elder's shoulder. He's right. I'm part of why this happened. If I didn't- I need to give Ridge more space. <clears throat> I saw Ridge sitting in front of the tree. As I approach, I notice he was actually sitting in larger front in front of a large grave. Here lies our first elder. He was loving, caring, and a father to us all. The grave is adorned with several flowers, items, papers, and clothing. It seems like the villagers have been leaving offerings on his grave. As you get closer to Ridge, I notice there are more papers than any other offering. I picked one up to take a look at it. It looked rush and unclean, with the lines and color all over the place, but I can still tell what it is. Look around at the other drawings, and they all share the same thing. The Elder taking care of Ridge. Ridge?
Okay. I sat down at his side while he continues to draw, not even lifting his head once to see me. Hang on, I'm gonna lower my microphone a bit. What do you want? I, I just want to help. Help what? I doubt you can revive him. Ridge suddenly stopped drawing and put down his pencil. Was I... a good kid? You are. But I... I killed him. I killed Papa. You didn't. If anyone killed him, it's me. But that's not it. Huh? If... If only I didn't fucking go to that waterfall. Papa would still be... <laughs> Fuck! Why does this happen to me? Papa hates me! Bridge, it's not that, okay? The Elder loves you. He doesn't hate you, and I'm sure he will hate you if you say that to yourself. So I think you shouldn't assume that. Do you remember the Elder's words? He's proud of you. He's happy for you. Don't forget that, Ridge. Papa... Tears fall down on his paper. His breathing started becoming erratic. I stood up and kneeled behind his back, giving him a hug. He loves you. Remember that. But I killed... Papa! You didn't. You didn't kill anyone. The Elder is not upset with you or anyone. Then why? It's fucking unfair. Why does this happen to me? I just want to fucking live my life. Why? Why does living hurt? Because life isn't easy. We have struggles. We have good things and bad things. Some are worse than others, and some can be the best thing to ever happen. But we still keep going. But... That's enough, Ridge. You can rest. You don't need to overthink. You told me that too, right? Look around. Your art. You made so much that I'm sure it reached the Elder. I want you to close your eyes and imagine. He's smiling down on you. Don't fuck. And he says thank you. Papa! <laughs> Ridge roars out as he cries. He leans back towards me, resting his weight on my chest. It's okay. You can now rest. The Elder is not mad at you. It's okay to rest. The Elder will always love you. I'm tired so much. It's okay. Rest now. I am here. <laughs> Ridge. I positioned my body a bit, making sure he lays down on the ground. Without waking him up, I rested Ridge's head on my thighs. I caressed his cheek, taking a good look at his face. He's exhausted. The bags under his eyes are very visible, probably from staying up all night and crying. Uh, uh. Oh, Ridge. You're right. <clears throat> Everything that happened was too unfair. But now that I am here with you, I won't let you push any push anyone again. I'll be your pillar. Because I also don't want to lose. Huh? A tear fell on Ridge's cheek. Rubbed my eyes with my free hand and noticed I was crying. <laughs> Everything is so fucked up. Uh, sure. Oh, Joseph. Did he finally rest? He passed out just now. Joseph picked up Ridge's drawing. That kid didn't deserve any of this. Let's go back home, Ridge. Joseph crouched down and picked up Ridge in his arms. Followed him behind until we got to Joseph's cabin. He told me to stay put while he tucks Ridge in his bed. I want to be with him too, but Joseph urged me to just let him rest for now. When he got back, he told me to sit down while he prepares a drink. For the sorrow. Oh, thanks. He handed me a cup of somewhat green liquid. Judging from the smell, it's medicine. You need to take care of yourself too. But I... Joseph raised his hands to stop me. Son, you're just as a victim as Ridge. Don't blame yourself. What happened was a tragedy, but if we, remo but if we can remove tragedies from the world, it would be boring. And Ridge wouldn't like that. Just drink. Alright. Took a sip of the drink, and I was right. It's a standard potion, so it's really bitter. Ugh. Your body looks exhausted. It's a good thing I was able to find you two together. 
Ridge has been drawing non-stop since last night. He said the Elder hated how he talks, so maybe he can see his regret in his art. Do you think the Elder hates how he talks? I... I don't know. Maybe it's better not to know. He won't eat anything and did not want to leave even after we buried the Elder. What about the housekeeper? Was he... He's fine, son. At least, that's what I tell myself. Huh? After I heard the Elder was killed, I rushed over to check on Ridge. When I got there, I saw the housekeeper's eyes. It was empty. I tried stopping him, but he just scratched me. He just locked himself up in the Elder's room. Oh. He's grieving on his own, much like how Ridge is grieving by drawing. But I feel like it is something I can't do anything about. It is the second time I'm asking you, but you were able to get him to rest. Can you keep staying with the kid? You don't need to ask me that. I already promised Ridge I'll be with him. And I already failed once protecting him. What are you talking about? If it weren't for you, Ridge and the rest of us would not even be here. So it doesn't matter if you failed. Because to us, you succeeded. Joseph. Rest here for now. I still need to work on the farm so we can relax. The hunters did leave some rations for us, but some of them taste... spoiled. Probably because of the preservations. We need them to last for di We needed them to last for days, maybe weeks. I see. Let me help you on the farm. Are you sure? You might still be too tired. I'm fine. I got some sleep last night, so I can still do things today. And maybe working will get will help me get my mind off things. All right. I helped out on the farm with Joseph. He looked very angry at first because some of the hunters looted the growing plants. I've worked here a few times already, but seeing the farm in disrepair after being abandoned is really upsetting. Joseph focused on trying to make a better while I support him on anything he asks for. Once it was getting late, Joseph told me he would watch Ridge for now and to just come back tomorrow because I also look tired. I wanted to stay with Ridge, but Joseph is right. I feel exhausted both mentally and physically. Before going home, I wanted to check things at the Elder's house for a bit. I can still hear faint crying coming from the Elder's room. It must be the housekeeper. I tried reaching out to the housekeeper several times, but he never responded. I hope he's okay. And that was Monster Village. Yeah, he's absolutely not okay. Well, you know exactly what time it is. Stay safe. Have a good night. And I will see you all tomorrow.